What's going on trainers? You've got Trainer Connor and you're watching a Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Showdown Battle video today. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more videos in the foreseeable future. I've done these videos before. I didn't really like them when I looked through them in the past. Uh, I decided to redo them and it might be a little too late for that because Sword and Shield are coming out soon, but if I can cram together a series of videos before then, we'll be okay. We got a stellar team today that I want to go over. So let's go to the team preview. The first Pokemon you see on the screen is a Tornado Styrian form. Rocking the Rocky Helmet with Taunt, Hurricane, Heat Wave, and U-Turn. It's a very good set. It's mainly there for support. Uh, we have a Tyranitar holding the Life Orb. So our main Stealth Rocker for the battle was Stealth Rock, Crunch, Stone Edge, and Fire Punch. Fire Punch is there for Cartana and Steel types like Ferrothorn that check it very easily. I can change it up alternatively with different moves from time to time, but I think Fire Punch will work. We also have this Volcarona, the star of the video here. I like it with Quiver Dance. Fiery Dance, Bug Buzz, and Giga Drain. Purely offensive with max special attack and max speed. Very good Pokemon. We'll definitely see it in action in this video. And our main defensive Pokemon that I think will work out in this video for sure is going to be Mew. And we've got holding the leftovers Defog, Taunt, Psychic, and Aura Sphere. Psychic and Aura Sphere are good moves for chip, chip damage to the opposition for something else to come in, a revenge kill, and then defog to get rid of the energy hazards. We have an ICMZ Mammal Swine, you probably won't be able to see ICMZ Mammal Swine because I don't end up using the Z move, but it's got Icicle Crash, Ice Shard, Earthquake, and Knock Off. So, very good offensive mammal swine to knock off items and spam Earthquake and Icicle Crash to hit those Pokemon in the OU tier. We are doing OU, so a lot of Pokemon in that tier. Our Mega for the video is a Mega Gyarados, and he's going to be another Dark type to this team, but we definitely have some fighting resists in the form of Volcarona and Tornadus, but a Dragon Dance subset, I really like it. We'll see how we do in this video, so let's jump right into the battles. I hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. Alright, trainers, so we have a game, and we see my opponent rocking Lolios, Moltres, Mew, Magnezone, Cartana, and Greninja. So, I really like Volcarona in this matchup, as well as Stealth Rocks. So, I'm going to start out with Tyranitar, as he leads out with Greninja. I'm going to switch out and go into Gyarados right away just because I I wasn't really expecting Skull. Maybe Spikes if it was a weak Greninja, but it appears to be an offensive Greninja. I was hoping he didn't burn me with the Skull. As I go for the Mega Evolution, I do get burned, however, but that's okay because we have Dragon Dance and we end up setting up a Dragon Dance. So the burn is there for chip damage over time, but as long as I have my boost, we're okay. So a plus one outrage hits the Magna Zone coming in. It is resisted, but I can afford some damage to this Magna Zone. Even though I have Volcarona in the back, it's nice to have some chip damage to make it a lot easier. However, we do see the Magna Zone with a Reflect Up that makes it interesting because of the, it balances out because of my attack boost kind of nullifies it a little bit my opponent predicted me to switch out into something different which is why he went for the thunder wave but i do go down however this will open the door for volcarona to come in and basically set up a quiver dance if i'm able to so we go for the quiver dance and a bug buzz a plus one boost is going to easily wipe out Greninja, which is awesome. However, he goes into Moltres, and the only really good answer for Moltres on this team is 
Time Manitar. If we go into Time Manitar, we end up taking a, a hurricane there, as you can see, and I expected Cartana to come in, which is why I went for the Fire Punch the way I I didn't expect Loyos, otherwise I would have gone for a crunch. I stay in on this. I wasn't sure what he was going to go for, probably a Draco Meteor or something like that. So I go for Stealth Rock as he goes for the Energy Ball. He goes for another Energy Ball and that one is going to take out Tyranitar. But as long as I have my Stealth Rocks up, we'll be okay. I go into Mammal Swine's a pretty good check for this Pokemon, but he does have Energy Ball, so I was aware of that, but I knew I could win it, so I go for the knockoff. I was expecting him to probably switch out too, which is also a good option for my opponent, but the fact that he stayed in was, it's okay, it's not a problem, but there is a problem right now as Cartana comes in and Revenge Kills gets a boost from his speed, well not really speed boost, but the beast boost. There we go. That's the right ability for the Ultra Beast Pokemon. So I go for Fiery Dance. I could hit. I mean, he could go into Moltres to deal with that, but he goes into Mew instead, and I should be faster than it. So here he finally decides to go into Moltres. I feel like he could have gone into Moltres first. That would make more sense, but. Here I dodge the confusion. I do get confused from the hurricane, but we put some chip damage onto the Moltres, which means I can go into Mew here. Mew is purely defensive, so I know I can live a hurricane. Unfortunately, he misses it. I get a second special defense drop on this Moltres. It's not going to matter too much because I can just wipe it out with another psychic. And that will leave with just two Pokemon left for each of us. I have my Mew and then Tornagus as my opponent has Cartana and Magnezone. So he, we barely live, dude, we barely live that Leaf Blade. I am very surprised about it, but again, I have defensive, so but it's a Cartana, I mean. Anyway, so we do finish it off with an Aura Sphere. We see Magnuson coming in. I wasn't sure if I could KO it because of my defensive values. So we're going to use Tornadus Theory and Form to finish off the match with a Heat Wave. We fortunately do not miss it. So we actually hit it this time and we win this match by a 1 0 or 6 to 5 score. And that was a really good match. I really enjoyed it. Uh, gives you a good example of how powerful Volcarona is in the OU tier. Anyways though, thank you guys for coming to this video. Like I said earlier in the video, if you end up enjoying this video, make sure you like the video and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next Wi-Fi Battle video. Goodbye, friends.